There's a Stack Overflow question titled, why is processing a sorted array faster than processing an unsorted array? It has an array of integers from 0 to 255, and it sums up all the values which are greater than 127. The author notes that if the data is sorted before doing this work, it runs almost six times faster. Why is this? To know this, we need to look more closely at how CPUs work. If each of these boxes is a CPU instruction, you might think the processor would handle the entirety of this one, then the entirety of this one, then the entirety of this one, and so on, but that's not what happens. There's many steps necessary to handle each instruction. It has to be fetched from memory, decoded, executed, have the results written back to memory. Doing all of these steps in order for each instruction would take a lot of time. Instead, CPUs have a pipeline of operations where they're looking ahead, while they're writing back the results of this instruction, they're executing this one already, they're already decoding this one, already fetching this one from memory, all at the same time. But what if this is a branch instruction, like from an if statement? If the branch is not taken, we're fine, we just keep on doing our work. But if it is taken, we're in trouble, because now all of this work we did is invalid, and we need to start up our pipeline all over again. This takes time, it's known as a pipeline stall. Pipeline stalls are expensive, so we try to minimize them. One way CPUs do this is, instead of just reading past the branch, they'll try to predict whether the branch will be taken or not. This takes advantage of the fact that programs and data tend to follow patterns, not just behave randomly. There's many different types of branch predictor, but they tend to work by examining what the program has already done and make predictions based on that. Marshmallow, is this branch taken or not? Yes or no, Marshmallow? Marshmallow, you're going to stall the pipeline, don't do this to me! What does this have to do with sorted data? Well, if the data's random, there's a 50% chance that we're going to mispredict the branch and get a pipeline stall. That's a lot of stalls. If, however, the data's sorted, then at the start we'll get a few mispredictions, but then we'll lock into the pattern and we'll have none until we hit that point where the data is now over 127. Then we're going to get maybe a few more, and then we'll lock into the new pattern, and then smooth sailing until the end. So that difference, that six times difference in performance, that's branch mispredictions.